Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show you how you can simply use Zoom application on mobile. So let's start. Like the whole Zoom application is really simple and I will try to make this as quick as possible. So the first thing you're going to see on the left down corner meet and chat where you can like find people and start chatting and adding them. Then you're going to select the meetings. So when you're going to have the meeting ID from your job or school and you, you can see like your meeting details and like some scheduled meetings. Then in the contacts menu, you're going to see all the contacts that you got. So from your job or school, and then you're going to see like the settings here where you can simply, and this is important. Just look at this. You can change some displayed name, update the password. Then you can go on meeting. And this is what I recommend. Like I'll always, I'll always mute my microphone and always turn off my video when you're joining a meeting. This is important. So when you're going to join a meeting and they are actually speaking, it'll be really bad if your mic would be really loud. So it's important to just turn off my video when you join an audio and then you can like turn it on when you are actually in a meeting. Now you can like leave everything else like this. It's completely fine. And I recommend having like show my connected time. This is something that I recommend to everyone. So you actually know like how long have you been on a meeting. So you're not there for three hours and wasting time. Then you're going to see new meeting, join, schedule and share screen. On left top corner, what I wanted to show you is, do you see the sign left top corner? You're going to see all files here that someone shared in the meeting. And then you're going to select the contact requests is uh, like the contact request that you got. So now let's, before we go in a new meeting, you want to click here on join. This is where you just simply add a meeting ID and you can see in left, what I just clicked here on the right top, this small arrow we just deleted, you can get the past meeting IDs. So this is where you're going to write a meeting ID and join options. Don't connect to audio. Turn off my video. It's like up to you if you choose it or no. And then you just simply join a meeting. Then you get to like schedule meeting. So you can actually schedule your own meeting and invite people if you want to. It's also really simple. You just choose the date from to repeat and meeting passcode. When you got it, you can also on the right, right top corner, the small pen here, you can edit like the definition of everything, like a description of your profile. When you're going to click on new meeting now, I'm going to show you everything about the meeting. My voice is going to change now a little bit only because I'm going to access the zoom application. So start the meeting. And I'm going to show you what you can actually do in your meeting. So let's go from the left top. The first thing is the reproductor, the speaker here. The speaker, you can turn off the, the voice or how they call the sound. So if you want to mute everyone, just click it and you won't be unable to hear anything. Then you can simply click here and see information, the inviting and everything. Then you can end the meeting in right, right top corner. And when you're going to see it here on left down corner, you can unmute, start the video, share photo, document, web URL, Google drive and everything. Then you can see participants here in participants. You can invite people. If you are able to invite, you can mute all, or you can ask all to unmute. That's like up to you. Again, you're going to see all the participants right here in the right, right down corner. You're going to see more. In more, you can simply disconnect the audio or access chat where you can write with people. And what I really like that you can actually oh, find like write personal messages to people when you're going to send to everyone, you just choose it to someone else. So this is something that you can do too. And here, when you're going to click more, you can see meeting settings. So if you are actually the host, you can log the meeting. You can allow participants to share a screen, rename themselves, unmute themselves. Meeting topic, you can change that. Mute upon entry, I recommend having it on. And play, join, and leave someone, someone leaves and joins. So this is how we can do it. And this is pretty the introduction to Zoom application. I'm going to end the application now. So the Zoom is really simple and everyone can actually use it. I recommend using it. It's perfect app. Like for 45 minutes, it's free for a meeting. So it's like everyone is using it. Thank you very much everybody for watching. And if you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. And if you have any problems, if I know the answer, I will reply to you. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And have a great day, everybody. And goodbye.